Well, folks, we did it again. This is pretty awesome. I've been covering Nintendo Directs literally since the very beginning. Even when I used to run Zelda Informer, I would cover the Nintendo Directs hoping for some sort of Zelda news, which I actually hope for some in this brand new Direct that was announced today. But I'm bringing all this up because in covering all these different Directs, I have learned over time uh, who you should pay attention to, who actually has real information, and knows when directs will be sure we'll cover some new faces on the block at times but when i go into a video as i did last time and i say something just like this folks we get to talk about the nintendo direct today because it appears we now know 100 percent for sure when the damn nintendo direct is happening i've been right 12 out of 12 times it's almost like i know who has legit info so that being said yes nintendo went ahead and announced a nintendo direct so yes we are getting a nintendo direct on the 18th june 18th at 7 a.m pacific time roughly 40 minutes it says join us for a nintendo direct live stream focused on nintendo switch games coming in the second half of 2024 again focused on that means there'll probably be some in 2025 there will be no mention of the nintendo switch successor during this presentation also this thing is roughly 40 minutes usually that means it'll be like 42 43 minutes uh so it's a beefy direct right we have general directs at times that are more like a half hour but this one is not doing that this beast is going the di Stint. So yeah, of course, we'll be live stream reacting to all of that. In fact, tonight we'll probably do a uh, bingo S card. Now you guys know I've already done a bingo card for this direct during our podcast last week. But what I want to do is create a community bingo card. So what we'll have here is we'll do a bingo tonight and you guys can suggest games and then I'll put up polls and you guys will vote on which game gets in. So we kind of have a, a cumulative community poll uh on what to put on the on, on the bingo card we'll see how you guys do in comparison to my bingo card in fact i'm going to tell you guys right now if the community bingo card beats my bingo card i just might have to do a little eShop gift card giveaway why just because i'm excited for this direct i'm not kidding you guys this nintendo direct is, is like it's been a long time Right, it feels like we've been waiting forever. Let me let me put it this way: there's a chance that you actually got pregnant during the last Nintendo Direct, the last general one, and your baby was born today. <laughs> like that's how long it's been nine months. There's been enough time for someone to have conceived and given birth to a child in between these directs. That's how long it's been. What a crazy world we live in that it's been that long since we've had a general Nintendo Direct. And it's not the longest gap we have. Obviously, 2020, we didn't have a general Direct the entire year. So look, we've had times where we've had longer gaps between general Directs, but man, it's been a long time. And this one is such a beefy one. There's so many hopes and dreams resting on this one as potentially the final Nintendo Switch Direct. I mean, look, they're even mentioning again that, hey, there will be nothing about the Nintendo Switch successor during this presentation. They know that everyone is looking forward to whatever information they're going to present on that Switch successor. So everyone knows Nintendo's continuing clarifying that there won't be information about it in this Direct. And I, I just feel like Nintendo knows the way the tides are going. Everyone's looking forward to that next system. But hey, we want to give one last big hurrah to the current one. So we could be getting the Donkey Kong or the Metroid Primes or the Zelda or who really knows? I mean, a brand new top-down Zelda would just be utterly fantastic. Uh, maybe we could get those Fire Emblem remake that supposedly was done forever. Or maybe F-Zero GX remaster. That could be in here. Maybe Tamodachi Life. Maybe Pushmo. Uh, who knows? It, it, the the possibility are infinite could we be seeing pokemon legend za gameplay for the very first time there's so many things we could be seeing here that it's so hard to contain my hype so uh what i want to do here for the rest of this video is just give you a some possibilities maybe float these out there and you guys can do what you want with them and we'll do that uh community bingo tonight so what better way to go over to some predictions and actually show you guys my bingo card uh so here's my bingo card and you'll see i got donkey kong in the top left yes folks i would love to see a brand new donkey kong game in this direct tamadachi life i think that coming over just makes a lot of sense after the last uh 3ds game they brought over a bit ago a new live alive because why not i love that franchise it'd be nice to see it come back with a brand 
brand new entry. Metroid Prime 2, that's just like the HD version. Uh, the Among Us, look, uh, the Among Us update kind of leaked last week. It's supposed to be Shadow Drop tomorrow. So, yeah, it would make a lot of sense if that's in there. I'd like to see Lego Horizon again because, hey, uh, that Lego Horizon game looked fantastic. And just seeing Horizon as an IP in a Nintendo Direct would be crazy. I got Dragon Quest 1 through 3, 2D HD. Why not? I'll probably check those games out. I've never played Dragon Quest 1 through 3. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, the HD one, you guys know what's up with that. Pikmin 4 DLC. Now, that is something that uh, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, but I think would make a lot of sense for this particular Direct. Some DLC for Pikmin 4. It's the best-selling Pikmin ever. Why not keep it going a bit this summer? I, maybe I'm just having some hopium there, but I'd like to see it. Uh, F-Zero GX, yeah, I don't know if it's this year, but I'd like to see it. Uh, Andres gets annoyed. That's Andres Restart. I don't know if he'll actually get annoyed, but I usually could successfully annoy him, but... It is what it is. Uh, Twilight Princess HD. Uh, that is something that I think, of, out of all the Zelda possibilities, you know, a brand new top-down game, The Wind Waker, Oracle Remakes, Ocarina of Time, whatever. I think Twilight Princess HD is the one they're going to drop this year. Could be wrong, but again, that's what I think will be in the direct. Uh, Super Monkey Ball. We already know there's one coming. Banana Blitz or something like that. So, yeah, we're probably going to see that in this direct. Final Fantasy Tactics. This recently got reconfirmed by Jason Schreier that this is in the works. It's some sort of remaster of the original Final Fantasy Tactics. I wouldn't be surprised to see that make its appearance in this Direct. It feels like a game that would really appeal to Nintendo's audience. Epic Mickey Rebrushed, a game we already know exists, already announced for Switch. Wouldn't be shocking to see it here. SteamWorld Heist 2, we just need an update on this. It's been a while since we've seen it. Uh, you know, throwing it out there as a possible indie game in the Direct. New Mario Party, I think that would be one of the big sellers this holiday season would be a new Mario Party. Mario Party always sells well for Nintendo. Uh, Kirby Planet Robobot, I feel like that'll be announced as a 2025 game. Who knows? They like to have Kirby every year. We haven't had a Kirby yet this year. Maybe that's the game coming. Uh, Europa, that had a very positive reception coming off the last, you know, indie world, right? We had an indie world that Europa was in. It was one of the big games. There's a demo on the eShop. You should check it out. It's fantastic. I can see that being an, one of the featured indie games in a general direct. Because, yes, they do tend to put a few indie games in. And well, this is one that, you know, I just want to be there, but it's Silk Song. I do believe that this is the time Silk Song is going to be shown. Uh, Silk Song is already rated by the ESRB, so it has a pretty complete version done, whether it releases this year or not. Uh, but I fully believe that it's happening in this direct. Last time we saw it was an Xbox showcase in 2022. Now we'll see it back where it belongs, right in the Nintendo Direct. A Fortnite update. Look, I, I don't really know if there's going to be a Fortnite update, but Fortnite's dropping new updates all the time. So I just threw it in there. Uh, Tichia, another smaller game that I thought might get a shot to show off in here. The game looks fantastic. Pokemon Legends ZA. I mean, come on. We all want to see a little Pokemon Legends. We haven't seen any gameplay at all. And speaking of haven't seen any gameplay, how about a game that we've only seen a logo of in Metroid Prime 4? Yeah, folks. I want Metroid Prime 4 to be here in this Direct, irregardless of if it's actually coming out this year. Obviously, we don't know when any of these games are coming. For all I know, my entire bingo card is incorrect, and none of those games and none of that stuff is going to end up making it into the Nintendo Direct. And that's the beauty of heading into the Directs. We don't have a lot of information out there. There's a potential that Pioro might have been teasing today um, something new in the Ace Attorney franchise or something like that. So we'll throw that out there as a possibility. However, it looks like he's just looking into the information, he, at, per his own words, rather than just outright saying that it's going to be in there. But hey, uh, Pioro, we know, has traditionally been a big leaker for directs, but for some reason he hasn't leaked anything for this particular direct as far as we're aware. So uh, who knows? There's still time today for that to happen. And if we do get some juicy leaks from him later, you know you can get it covered all right here at Nintendo Prime. Well, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a damn good time. You guys know we'll be doing our Nintendo Direct community bingo tonight. And then tomorrow, that's right, tomorrow, we will be live streaming an actual Nintendo Direct and maybe even a follow-up video with any big new information, screenshots, etc. that might drop for some of the biggest games that are in the Direct. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.